Sports. Hey guys, it's Klaus. Welcome back to another video. I hope all of you are having a fantastic day. All of you magnificent morons who have tuned in to day three of From China with Love. The series where we're featuring all the best of China. Three games for you today, guys. Three. And they're fast and furious. That hated, dreaded Chinese light line. One of the tank lines that most people agree is, well, uh, once you get to the high tiers, just a very difficult, difficult line to play. The tier 6 is great. The tier 7 is not so bad. The tier 5 is pretty good. But once you start getting to the higher tiers, these Chinese light tanks with that terrible gun handling, that made in China gun RNG, <laughs> uh, which, uh, well, which worked pretty good on that shot. A little auto aim goes a long way. We're going to watch. This is the tier 8, guys. The WZ-132. And you've got yourself into a predicament already because the enemies are being aggressive. It's the Kraken destroyer in his WZ-132. Now it's weird because the, all of the Chinese light tanks are WZ-132s. <laughs> The tier 8 is a WZ-132, the tier 9 is the WZ-132A, and the tier 10 is the WZ-1321. So I never know which one I'm facing when I'm in a battle. I see WZ-13 and I go, what? what, what, what? But any, oh! <laughs> Mommy, the STRV just exploded. Don't act so surprised, dear. People explode every day. I had to say it. <laughs> What the hell just happened? That's okay. You've you've driven to this rock and bush and you've hidden yourself. And now you're going to take some cheeky shots. Are you going to take a cheeky shot? Yes. Yes. And you're spotted for your for your effort there because you are not bushed. He's he's worried about backing up and bushing himself because there's people on his he's boxed himself in. He's boxed himself in right from the get-go here. No, you didn't spot anyone. They've reached backed up. You should. You have the view range to spot a heavy tank right there. So he's not there. He's backed up. But maybe you, there. Yes. Now this is good gun accuracy. I am surprised. I am very surprised. Oh, okay. Armor not penetrated. I, I'm surprised. But he is aiming his shot perfectly. So that's fair. That's fair. It's when you're on the move or when you're trying to take a shot uh, quickly. Or with your turret moving, your hull moving, your tank moving. The accuracy is just brutal. Uh, and you're a light tank, so you are moving a lot. Which makes it very difficult. Okay. The plusters veiled vehicles. And, you know, on and on, all the reasons. But you're going to see three games where they make it work. The Kraken. Come on, Kraken. You're going to have to unleash something. <laughs> his gun handling's looking pretty good. He's, he's hitting his shots. He's auto aimed and wow, he's snapperooning them. Just auto aim, bounce. Wow. Okay, maybe I'm wrong, guys. Maybe I'm wrong. Or maybe this is the one in a hundred game. Or one in a thousand game where it worked. It's Chinese. What do you expect? Eh? You know? <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's inexpensive. <laughs> I was going to say cheap. All right, uh, <coughs> raise that peepee -pee and head out. You've taken care of this guy. Maybe if you could scoot, you could make a bold move and scoot down there and get. Some, oh no, there's somebody. Okay, you've detected someone now. Look at that. Now he's aiming. It's taking forever. When he auto aimed, it was just snap, 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 and now it's looking like the aim time is lasting forever. It's the dichotomy of the game. When you aim, it, it seems like it takes forever, and you quite often miss. When you auto lock and bounce, snap, 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 snap. No problem. Bullseye, bullseye, bullseye. It's the game that's deciding, guys. The game is deciding. And the game decided that you are... Hmm. Do you go fight that guy? You've got yourself into a kind of a, a shitty spot here. Okay. If there's nowhere to go, just hunker down and enjoy yourself. D drive in a circle around the dead STRV. That's, that's a good plan. The camping light tank, the crouching tiger, the camping right tank. 
There he is. Okay. He, you've got view range over this guy. Yeah. The shot deviated into his lower plate for you. Uh, he spotted you, but now you can... Yes. Oh, he's... This is beautiful. Th it's a sniper. Obviously, these... Everything I said was wrong. The gun handling is beautiful. This is a sniper tank. This guy's farming the damage. He's a he's a farming light tank. Hey, we can come up with some names to uh, the Chinese movies. The farming light tank. The the crouching sniper. <laughs> the bullseye snapper. Hey, what what are you gonna do now? I I would move. I mean. I don't know, maybe not. Why why move when you can just just keep shooting? Let the enemies let the enemies roam around and he, oh he stopped for you. <laughs> oh you loaded H E. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Why do people still do it? I don't know. Because it's a habit. Oh, it's a scorpion. I'll shoot H E. Trolled. Troll. What did you hit? A pixel? I don't know, you didn't penetrate. Anyway, you hit a pixel that you didn't penetrate, and you've been trolled. Now he's on the move. Here he goes. Here he comes. And he's going to do a little bit of dipsy doo daddling. Remember, there's also an SU-152 there. It's probably just in here, right? Are you going to surprise him, or are you going to be surprised? Who will be surprised? He's gone. How could he be gone? You would have... No, there he is. He is surprised. He, Mommy, I'm surprised. <laughs> no, don't go. <laughs> I thought he was going to drive in front of his gun. <laughs> and now here comes Mr. Scorpion. Hey. Daddy, can I play your account? <laughs> I want to try the Scorpion. <laughs> Scorpion sniper. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Um, now what? Are you going to do some more sniping? From No, there's no way. There's absolutely no way. You're going to have to do something else, buddy. And he's actually... Uh, you're actually losing. Mm, he's, the, he's a light tank. Now, this is near the end of the game. He's a light tank. He's still alive. So, that is huge. Don't fall off the cliff. <laughs> When you're still alive as a light tank at the end of the game, it's huge. It's absolutely huge because you have mobility. And, he, oh, you, you are detected. Okay. But he got a shot into you. That, oh, and so, what? You're in a crossfire. Somehow the VK shot you. There is a line of sight. Yes, the VK had a line of sight there. That's too bad. Too bad. On the move. All right. It's 3-3. Three, three. He is the attacking light tank. He is the... Oh, what's going on? You just have to defend. He's, he's defending. Yes, that's what it is. He is defending. You don't want to defend. You want to go... Let, go make that VK feel foolish. Park right beside him. He doesn't have the gun depression. And you, you get right beside him. Parallel park beside him. And farm his ass. That's what I would do. Let's see what he does. The Kraken is now unleashed. Yes, the Kraken. Here he comes. Mr. Ka he's, he's approaching 4,000 damage in his Tier 8 light tank. Oh. He, he, you have better gun handling, I guess, when you just auto-lock. And just snap it and let Wargaming decide for you. Yeah, just, just do that. Basically, that's what you have to do. Now you can make this guy feel foolish. Yeah, you can make him feel foolish. One up the ass. Yeah. And he, uh, he's confused. He's thinking, what, what happened? What was that that hit my ass? I, something hit my ass. Let me turn my turret to the left and my tank to the right, so that I'll never be able to hit this person that's behind me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to play the Chinese light tanks. I'm gonna have to go down the Chinese light tank line. I'm at tier 7. I love the tier 6. Loved it. Loved everything about the tier 6. Tier 7, not so much. Unbelievable that you penned that shot. Unbelievable that you penned that shot. I don't know how he's done it. I don't know how he's done it, but he's done it. How'd he do it? I don't know. You guys can explain it to me in the comments. How did he do it? I don't know. I don't know how his gun hit his shots. 
I don't know how some of the shots penned, but they did. And he's got 11 seconds left. And can he snap a Rooney him? Yes, snap. Yeah, Chi Chong. Unbelievable. Tier 8, WZ132. Exits with victory and over 5,000 damage. 5,000 at Tier 8. Now the brain salad surgery is in his WZ132A at tier 9. And he, it looks the same, doesn't it? They all look the same, these WZs. <laughs> they all look the same, these Chinese tanks. <laughs> Flip yourself on the rubble. He is not on a, a, a map that's conducive to light tank gameplay. But you want him money, well, shoot the Muppet. Shoot the Muppet. Shoot that Muppet. Shoot that Muppet. Shoot that Muppet. W what is the Muppet doing? Does he want to get shot again? Shoot the Muppet. Shoot the Muppet. Shoot the Muppet. Yeah. Daddy! I want to try your bat chat. Can I play your account? Like, what in the name of World of Tanks is this utter... Muppet a doing in his tier 10 a beautiful a, a incredible tier 10 tank and he's got a friend what is going on <laughs> with enemies like that guys with enemies like that the enemy team is probably thinking well played, well played, Mr. Batchat. Uh, thank you. We are now down over 2,000 HP. The tank that has the highest burst damage in the game that can carefully sneak up on anyone and, and pump out like 2,000 damage in a few seconds decided that it would be a better idea to drive around like a chicken with his head cut off. Okay, okay. Well, Mr. Light Tank here, Mr. Brian Salad Surgery, is still in a point position in the middle of the map and is probably surprised himself that he's at 1200 damage here. He probably just wanted to do a little spotting, maybe get one or two cheeky shots. But he, alas, was gifted Mr. Chicken with his head cut off, Bat Chat. There he is. Oh, now you're letting him farm you back. <laughs> he, he wants more, doesn't he? <laughs> The chicken with his head cut off changed his strategy. He tried driving around like a like a like a moron, and that didn't work. So then he went into his little cubby hole. <laughs> that didn't work either. Okay, uh, somehow you're losing four or five, and it's time to relocate. He is seeing what's happening up there, and he's moving into another cubby hole where he can protect the onslaught that is about to arrive. Snap! Boy, this. I'm just flabbergasted with the gun handling that I'm witnessing in these games. And I'm, you hit the wrong guy. I don't know what you... I think he was aiming for the guy behind. And somehow, even when your shot missed, it, it hit. Oh, that one didn't penetrate. I'm just surprised at the gun handling that I'm witnessing here on these Chinese light tanks. I, I don't see this. I, I, don't, I don't experience this. But we're seeing the best, the best of the best. Oh, there's a veiled vehicle. Good. Uh, no, that's not. What is that? Yes. I guess you can't hit them even when they stop. Shoot the veiled vehicle, for God's sakes. Everyone wants, everyone wants those to be dead. He's given up. Even when the veiled vehicle stopped, you, want, you, you don't want to shoot where they are, right? You're thinking, oh, he's going to do a 20 G-force turn. And, and you fidget. Oh boy, it's a close game. He's relocating it again. He's relocating again. He's using his speed to move somewhere where he can intercept the enemies. The enemies are all in a cluster there. And okay, the T-49 is coming. T-49 is coming. The T-49 is dead. He's dead. <laughs> Mr. T-49, I've got speed. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Where's... Oh, there's a... Is he going to do a flanking maneuver? 
Or is he going to go back there and fight the Maotian? He probably does not want to fight the Maotian head on. He's wondering, okay, there's going to be a chicken with his head cut off. Come around this corner any second. That's what he's thinking. Oh, and there he is. And he snapped him. Unbelievable. Unbelievable gun handling. I've not, never witnessed anything like this. Oh, you're going to take a big one here, but maybe you can even ram this guy. No, he just, he doesn't have a fully traversable turret. So make him feel... Sometimes you feel like a nut, and sometimes you don't. <laughs> ah, yes, yes, yes. The fully traversable turret trick. <laughs> now, make the motion feel... Is the motion going to feel like a nut? <laughs> yes, yeah, sometimes you feel like a nut. And sometimes... You don't. <laughs> and uh, once again, the big super heavy tank is thinking, Hey! Hey! <laughs> what's that? What's, ha what's that happening in my derriere? Ay, 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 ay. 4,000 damage. Hey, the tier 8 did more than you, buddy. Tier 8 tank did more than you. And there's only one enemy left. I don't know. What did the tier 8 guy... What, what did the Kraken... He was over 5,000. You're going to have to... Sh step it up a notch here, buddy. Step it up one notch. Can he... Let's do a Progetto Ram. Come on. A Ram? A light tank Ram? Ram. 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 Ram, Ram, Ram. No? No, no, no. Uh, a sneaky little shot. That's what he's doing. Yes, okay, okay, maybe. There's a lot of HP there, and the projecto's not focusing on you, because, well, oh, no gun depression, that is, oh, just all the luck. How? How? Uh, well, you're winning 14-9, that's how, okay. Yeah, it just went through his upper play, tangled, no problem, but now you're farming. He's farming. He wants to farm it with you. Come on, go, go, can you get the luck? The up, no, he missed! <laughs> You got up over 5,000 damage, buddy. Fantastic game. Brain salad surgery. 5,005. A little less than the tier 8. But alas, now we reach the pinnacle. The top. The top. Yes, it's Asiru. Asiru in the WZ1321. It is number 1. China number 1. Tier 10. Look at this thing. This still looks a little bit different. It has kind of a laundry cage on the turret. Chinese laundry net on the turret there. I guess that's to dry the uh, the unders. The under patties. The under the underclothes. I don't know what that cage is for. He's moved into the bush. And he's done some spotting already. Is there an EBR on the enemy team? Yes, you have to be careful. The, okay, there's the EBR. Where's the clown? He's at the base. The clown went to the base. The clown went where he's not needed. He spotted everyone, but you've got no damage assist, which is the typical, typical result. Can, 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 can? Snap. Uh, wow. I did not know that these Chinese guns were so fantastic. I always thought that they were the, the, the troll ones. I didn't realize that they were this great. Ah, uh, guys, when the game says yes, it's a beautiful thing. And somehow he's shooting and not getting detected here. He's not? Oh, yes, he is. You did not push yourself that time, and you got detected. And can he? Can he? I wouldn't linger there after being detected. There could be some... What? See, now the commander didn't even say anything, because the, even the game was surprised that you hit that shot. The game was like, what? All right, we registered a hit. We might as well give him the damage. But the commander was too ashamed to even acknowledge it. And just like that, just like that, you're almost at 2,000 damage. You know where you can do it again. Okay, he's got to move because of the EBR. All right, can, I, I would love it if he takes out the EBR. Come on. China number one! You take out French EBR. Where is he? There he is. Oh, God, this will be beautiful. Uh, in the air! Oh. A little leaping cockroach. That's a, another title for a Chinese movie. The leaping cockroach. He's fixated on the leap. No, he's decided it's a bad idea. He does not want to go after the leaping cockroach. Or does he? 
Yes, he does. As fast as he can turn, there's no way. A light tank cannot keep up with a leaping cockroach. Because leaping cockroaches are good for the game. Oh, he's... Yes! Take your field vehicle and stick it up your ass! And that only took three minutes, two and a half minutes to get rid of the field vehicle and now he can play World of Tanks. Now he is a, a, a true light tank and he can actually play this game. He couldn't really play properly with the leaping cockroach in the game and now he is just having his way. He is just having his way with these enemies. No one is shooting him back. It is absolutely insane. I've never seen anything like he's deep in enemy territory. There are no enemies that are even taking any interest in him. No one wants to help this poor, poor, poor hapless Death Star who is doing the death dance. He's doing the death dance. He cannot turn. He doesn't have a fully traversable turret. He's got teammates in the in the castle there. They're, they're not even look. Just none of them. D no notice. Oh, finally, one of them said, oh, oh, our teammate's dead. Maybe we should do something. The artillery didn't notice. No one noticed. Don't you love enemies like that? And that poor, that poor Death Star. He's thinking, why would they wait 48 seconds while I die and do nothing? I guess... They didn't want to shoot because the Death Star would have got some spotting assist. Ah, this is World of Tanks. It's a team game. It's a team game. <laughs> Never witnessed anything like it. And he's at 4,000 damage. And he's feeling pretty cocky. Pretty cheeky with himself. So now he's up here and he's going to... Ah, that's the, that's the Chinese gun I'm used to. That's the type of gun handling I'm used to. And he's feeling pretty cheeky. Pretty cheeky, just sitting in the open. And finally, finally someone shot you. He's thinking, oh, oh, these enemies shoot back. Oh, oh, I took one up. The oh, you see? He was mesmerized there, thinking, well, I guess, I guess nobody on this enemy team shoots. And now he's found some enemies that shoot. They do shoot, some of them. You were lucky for the first half of the game, and now you've got no HP, my friend. None. And now let's see if your Chinese gun will... There, that's the Chinese gun I know. That's the Chinese gun I know. This is how my Chinese light tanks play. Just like that. See, that's how they work. Now, okay. We've, uh, we've achieved the balance in the universe. The things are back to copacetic. There you go. Okay, you've got to aim carefully. Can he get over 5,000 damage? The tier 8 did it. You can do it. You can do it, buddy. Yes, you have achieved it. And you're not done, but you've got no HP now. You kind of threw away your HP. There's still four enemies left. Okay, here he goes. Here he goes. And there <laughs> more enemies that want to take no interest in the little light tank. As they, I guess, should, because there's there's bigger tanks to worry about. Oh, watch it. You know, as soon as the E-100 sees you, he's going to shoot you, because you're the easy target. And he's managed now over 6,000 damage! Hoo-ha! Incroyable game! China number one! We're going to continue tomorrow and the next day with From China With Love. If you guys are enjoying this series... If you've enjoyed the previous ones, if you're enjoying the channel, please subscribe. It would really help out the channel, make it grow, make it appeal to more people, make it get recommended more often. I appreciate anyone who's uh, who's been enjoying the channel to, to subscribe. You know, why be a closet watcher? That's another, hey, another name for a Chinese movie. Closet watcher. That would be a rated R. <laughs> Ah, uh, Confucius say, those who subscribe to Kraus Kellerman channel will unlock mysteries of the universe. Remember that. Uh, Asiro. Fantastic game. Fantastic. I'm going to have to stick with it, guys, and, and give these Chinese light tanks another try on my own account. 
and see if I can achieve as good a results as these guys did. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will catch you tomorrow where we will have more fun, more laughs, more entertainment, and more, just more, more, more. More, more, more. How do you like it? How do you like it? More, more, more.